What's up guys, today's video is on the Epson EcoTank Wireless at 4850 All-in-One as the top of the line letter and legal size printer in Epson's latest batch of EcoTank All-in-One printers. In its compact size, features, and performance, the ET4850 is roughly equivalent to the much less expensive editor's choice. Winning brother MFC J4335DW, but the brother uses cartridges, whereas the ET4850's key draw is low costing. If you don't print much, the brother printer will be the better option, but if you do, the ET4850 will be a bargain in the long run. That makes it our new editor's choice for heavy-duty personal and home office use, small enough to share your desk. Available in either black or white, the ET4850 is compact enough to fit on your desk comfortably, so you can easily reach the paper tray or enter scan, copy, and fax commands using its 2.4 inches front panel, a color touch screen. It weighs just 14.8 pounds and measures 10.0 by 16.4 by 19.8 inches with the ADF and output trays fully extended. Connection choices include USB, Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and Wi-Fi Direct. For my performance tests, I connected by Ethernet. For Android or iOS mobile printing, Epson's Smart Panel app lets you print from or scan to your mobile devices as well as set up and monitor the printer. And, like most current Epson printers, the ET4850 supports Epson Email Print and Epson Remote Print, which let you send files to the printer via the internet. Sufficient speed, excellent quality. The ET4850's performance ratings aren't impressive for the price, at 15. 5 ppm for monochrome black pages and 8. 5 ppm for color. But it delivered respectable performance compared with similarly priced inkjet tank printers and some less expensive cartridge printers. In my tests using our standard testbed, the ET4850 came in at 13. 8 ppm for monochrome text, using our 12-page Word file, and including the first page. On our business application suite, which includes color output, it came in at 7. 5 ppm. For 4 by 6 inch photos, it averaged 1 minute 25 seconds per photo, using Epson's premium photo paper glossy. This makes the ET4850 essentially tied with the less expensive cartridge-based brother MFCJ 4335DW which printed black text at 14.7 ppm. However, both are noticeably slower than the Epson Workforce Pro WF7840 and WF7820, two cartridge-based models that can print up to super tabloid size and cost more than the brother printer but less than the ET4850. The two Workforce models were essentially tied with each other at roughly 20 ppm. Edges on characters weren't quite a match for laser printer crispness, but all the fonts in our tests that are likely to be used in standard business documents were highly readable at 5 points, except for one italic font that was highly readable at 6 points. For one of the heavily stylized fonts in our tests, loops and spaces between characters tended to fill in, making even 10-point text hard to read. A similar but less demanding font was easily readable at 8 points. Graphics showed subtle banding and fills with the default settings, but colors were nicely saturated and thin lines held up well, including a one-pixel wide line on a black background. Photos on the recommended paper were at the low end of drugstore quality. I saw a blue-green shift that was particularly noticeable on a black and white photo. On our smudging tests, which consist of putting a few drops of water on output printed at least 24 hours earlier, and gently wiping it off, both black and color ink did an excellent job resisting smudging, both on plain paper and on the recommended photo paper. However, I saw water stains on a color graphic where I left drops to dry. A seriously low cost per page. Thanks to the refillable tanks, the ink cost per page for the ET4850 works out to just 0.3 cent for a standard black page and 0.9 cent for color. Compared with the brother MFC J4335DW, that's a savings of 0.6 cent per black page and 3.6 cents per color page, or $6 per 1,000 text pages and $36 per 1,000 color pages. As always, keep in mind that the number that matters is the total cost of ownership, meaning the initial price plus the running cost for the number of pages you expect to print. You'll need to do the math to see which printer will actually be cheaper in the long run. If you don't expect to print enough pages for ink price to matter, Consider the editor's choice, winning MFC J4335DW for its low initial cost. Alternatively, if you want faster speed and more flexible paper handling, consider the Epson WF7820, which has two paper trays, or the WF7840, which has three. Both can handle up to super tabloid size paper, and the extra trays let you keep multiple types of paper loaded at once. The niche for the ET4850 is home offices that print a lot and need AIO features. It's a close match to the MFC J4335DW for features, 
and with sufficient use, it will give you a lower total cost of ownership. That combination makes it worth of an editor's choice award. Pros, prints, scans, copies, and faxes. Low ink cost, ethernet, USB, and Wi-Fi connections. Duplex printing, prints from and scans to mobile devices. Cons, high initial price compared with cartridge-based competition. ADF does not auto-duplex or support manual duplexing. Text quality is lacking at small font sizes and with some stylized fonts. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment.